The first is the endurance required in order to fulfill the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The second is the restraint required in order to abstain from the prohibitions of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the third is the acceptance of the decree of the Almighty when calamity comes in our direction. So these are the three types of sabah, three types of patience we have. A lot of people think that only the third one is known as sabah. That when something happens, they say, Be a sabr, my dear brother. Be a sabr, my dear sister. No. The reality is in order to read Salah, you need a lot of sabr. You need to really endure the cold water, possibly at the time of Fajr. Also, you need to give up your sleep. In order to abstain from backbiting, you need to restrain yourself. That is also known as sabr. So, this is known as sabr. That is also sabr. And in order to accept the decree of Allah the Almighty, that is also known as sabr. When you can be happy on whatever Allah has decreed, Islam is the only religion that makes it necessary as a condition of belief. If you would like to be a Muslim, then you need to declare that I be a witness and believe firmly that good and bad fate is from Allah the Almighty. His decree is final and I am always happy with it and I will not compete with it. If we don't believe that, we are not mu'mineen. So Islam helps us to live because this whole life is a test. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promises us that He will test us. And already in advance we have declared that we will never compete with the dec decree of the Almighty. We believe that He is in command. We will play our role and the rest we will leave in the hands of the Almighty. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never make us from those who question His decree and who question His power and His independence and the fact that He is in supreme control 